Hello everyone, welcome to Aesthetic for Tech. So in this video, I am going to discuss about functions and sources of protein. So first of all, let us discuss about functions of protein. Let me start with an introduction. Proteins are macronutrients which are required in higher amounts for our body. Mainly, protein function can be categorized into three. Its function include maintenance and growth, regulation of body process and finally providing energy. First function maintenance and growth. Protein makeups, muscles, organs and endocrine glands in our body. Also, it is the chief constituent of metrics of bones and teeth, skin, nail and hair. All these living cells and body fluids contain protein except bile and urine. Proteins are essential for growth. Also, carbohydrates and fats cannot replace protein because they do not contain nitrogen. Protein provides building material and always replaces dead cells by new cells. Regulation of body process. Body proteins have an important function or important role in the regulation of body process. For example, nuclear proteins. Nuclear proteins contain blueprints for the synthesis of all body proteins. Next, hormonal proteins. Dietary proteins provide raw material for the synthesis of hormones that control many processes in our body. Catalytic protein. That means enzymes help to facilitate digestion, absorption, anabolism and catabolism, etc. Then immune proteins help to increase the resistance to diseases. And finally, contractile proteins such as actin and myosin helps in muscle contraction. Energy Proteins are important source of energy. Each gram of protein gives 4 kilocalorie. If our diet does not supply enough energy through carbohydrate and fat, protein provides the needed energy that is for, required for our body. Let us come to the next topic that is sources of protein. There are many sources of protein and protein sources can be classified into animal sources and plant sources. Animal sources of protein Animal sources of proteins are considered as complete proteins and they are milk and milk products, egg, fish, poultry and meat. First one, milk and milk products. Milk proteins such as casein and lactalbumin are considered to be complete proteins because they contain good balance of essential and non-essential amino acids. Skimmed milk powder is an excellent source of milk protein. Other sources include cheese, curd, etc. Meat, fish and poultry. They are good sources of protein and these products vary in protein content. Finally, egg. Egg proteins are considered as complete proteins because they contain almost all essential amino acids that is required. Egg contain egg white protein called as avalbumin and egg yolk protein. Plant sources of protein Vegetables Vegetables are poor sources of protein, except legumes. Legumes provide better quality of plant protein. And also, soya bean contain high quantity of plant protein. But fruits are poor sources of protein. Peanuts and nuts Peanuts and nuts are good sources of protein. Cereals Cereals means rice, wheat, corn, etc. Cereals make important contribution to protein. Raw grains contain about 7 to 12 percentage of protein. But it lack one or more essential amino acid. Hence, it is better to take a mixture of rice and pulses to get good quality protein.